So Joe Budden slams logic over a tearful interview with his father. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and you gotta check this out. So during the latest episode of his self-titled podcast, Budden spoke about Logic's emotional conversation with his dad, Robert Bryson Hall Sr., and slammed him in a lengthy tirade. But I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the people that run around uncomfortable with self. I feel sorry I feel sorry for the people that feel like they have to speak down on their parents because they have resentments about mm-hmm. it. I like that's not my I that's just not my bag. Mm-hmm. I can't identify mm-hmm. with that. And yeah, if you want to do that, then you don't have to do that on camera, yo. For 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 the sake of content. Yeah, that's the part. Like I didn't like I said, I, I didn't see it, it but, but the hearing way y'all, y'all saying yeah. it sounds disgusting. Yeah. And I I, I totally I understand it. what you're saying yeah. as being COE, like that's nasty. Yeah, nah, that's nah, just nah, nasty. Nah. I'm not with the great mm-hmm. family members. I think it's, it's, it's also how you were, how you were raised, and like it's an identity problem. You know, if you if you were really in tune and really outside, you know that's a no no, especially on camera. To any yeah. and with it, and what I'm saying is, instead of giving you money, Daddy, you know, I'll help you out. I've helped my family out, but instead of just giving you, money... I don't want to, I don't want you to give me. Money. I mean, my I nigga, my nigga, my nigga, whatever. you've asked me for money, but so let's work. I, I get it. I hear what you're saying right now, but I'm gonna look you in your fucking eyes, and I'm gonna tell nah. you, you have asked oh, yeah. me yeah. for a million dollars. A million. I could never imagine. Yes, you did. You asked me for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, well that right for there a studio comes for you a million dollars. Exactly. Now what I'm saying is we ain't fucking with none of that shit. I am so happy, honored, and blessed to th- the fact that I came. We came to a realization. Mm-hmm. I can't even listen to him anymore. You, you know, know, you know what, you know what the problem is. You know, I, I, I came. Yo, when I cursed <laughs> in front of F word came ass. out. When I, when I cursed in front of my mom or my dad by mistake, I say, "Excuse me." Facts. I say, "Excuse me, Paul. Excuse my language." You see, the problem is that the nigga, the people that surround you is not being real with you. You know, they, you a lot of a lot of these guys that they put on a pedestal are meal tickets, and that's the problem. Nigga, you gotta keep it real with him. He looks foolish, he looks dumb, he's not down. His father should have slapped him in his face with his old ass hands. You should be embarrassed, and you're not really representing your family right. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit, it feels, it feels nasty, it don't feel good, and it looks nasty. You saying my nigga to your father, you cursing, you not black. I think that Logic has a lot of that self-hate inside of him and it comes out in these weird ways. He, like, I, like, like that. The whole story about Logic's upbringing and his mom calling dad a nigger and some of that hate that, that they crazy. speak about. Mm. Like when I hear how he speaks to his dad, it just sounds like a lot of unresolved trauma. Mm. Lots. Yeah, and that one little conversation they might have had before the cameras cut on is not enough to cut these cameras on and you speak to mm-hmm. your dad. My dad has never laid a hand on me, and I would never try him like that. But never. if I did, he would grab the cane and get up. <laughs> he might not even need the cane, just adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline. yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he might jump on off the ass. vert. Yep. <laughs> With the knee replacement off the vert to smack the shit out of me. He then addressed Logic's mixed race background, saying, I didn't need this interview to know that Logic hates his dad. I said this months ago Mm -hmm. because my problem is you don't seem to have a close relationship with dad. Cool. Every time he comes up, like, it's a temp change for you. However, you have no problem leasing the blackness that dad gave you, even though by your admission, you and dad are not like that. So now you think it's comfortable for you to sit in front of your black father face and say, nigga, you think you just you think you got a lot of passes that I don't believe you to have. And that's how a lot of his music comes off to me. So my beef with Logic is his internal identity crisis that he has with himself. At no point do I feel like we look we're looking at a man who's comfortable with him, his lifestyle, his family decisions, his upbringing. He just is a fucking weirdo. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. How do you feel on the subject of uh, loaning your family money in that manner? I think he's full of shit. Hmm. I think that was a crock of shit. 
I do not think that if you buy your father a house that you have to buy your nine siblings I, a house. I don't. I don't believe that. No, I ain't in a position to do so, but I don't think. I don't know their family. Mom, dad, dad, I don't think that. But he might be right. Siblings. I mean, isn't that, that's that's an inspiration, an aspiration for a kid is to be able yes. to buy your parents yes. a house. Mm-hmm. You know, true. that's not for everybody. Okay, well, uh, generally speaking, it ain't bu- generally I've never speaking. heard the rappers come up and say, "I want to buy all my siblings a house." No, not siblings. No, no, mama, parents. Stay mom. Yeah. Well, mama, really. Stay there. Mm-hmm. So let's say it's mom. It's mom. Let's say he has older siblings that took care of him when he was growing up. Uh-huh. I'm just throwing a general scenario. Okay. Right? Let's say he got older siblings. So my older sisters took care of me. My father wasn't nowhere to be found. I'm going to go buy him a house before I buy Shani a house? Fuck no. I might, though. I know. but I So might. now Shani going to be looking at me like, nigga, he ain't do nothing for you. Okay, I took so care of you. I wiped your ass. So you I added did, a house. I'm just No, I'm giving you an example of the, in your example, you added a house. Mm-hmm. That still don't account for that crock of shit he sat there and said, talking about if I buy one or two houses, he didn't say two, but you did. Mm-hmm. I have to buy nine houses? Yeah, I gotta no. Buy everybody and then one. he got into the math of it, and even that was wrong. Uh, y'all like space, so the cheapest house would have to be half a million dollars, so let's do it. Half a million? One million? 4.5. He eventually got to that. Nigga, that's not true. That ain't true. You didn't have to go buy a house outright, If even if you got to go buy nine. It was just a lot of shit. A whole crock of shit every time this white nigga opens his mouth. Last week, Logic conducted an emotional interview with his father about their family history on his podcast, Logically Speaking. Addressing his dad's past crack addiction, he said while sobbing, Nigga, that's 33 years right here. That's what this is. Yeah, you told me that you would come, Daddy. You never did. You told me that you was going to pick me up. And I waited, and I look at my son, and I think about how much I, 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 what, my, what my son means to me, and I can never make him sit on a curb. And I don't say this to make you feel bad. I, I don't. I really love you. This is not the beat you up show. This is the here we are. This is the we're going to rejoice. So let me get it out. Because you're like me, we're the same. I know you love to talk, and I love to talk. <laughs> and I've been talking and talking, so, but let me keep so talking. And let me just say, I was that little boy, and you told me you would come, and you promised, and you promised. You know, I'm a man of my word today because you aren't. And you promised me. And I remember the... I remember the sidewalk that I would sit on every time you said you would come see me and you never came to see me. And I remember uh, my mom telling me not to bother. And I did, I bothered every time because I love you. And I love you and I just, uh, I just wanted you to know that it really hurt and so we won't stay on this too long, but I just want to ask, what is it like to have used? Sorry, this ain't even me crying. This is me as a child who never got the opportunity to cry. Mm-hmm. What is it like as a man who used a substance? And what was it like using a substance? that would allow you to make that little boy wait forever. What was it like to use it? Was it worth it? What did it feel like? And I mean it, nigga, don't say, no, you the best thing. Mm -hmm. What was it like, nigga? Cause you wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So it must, what did it feel like? Nigga, did it feel like a thousand virgins? No, it felt like, like, it felt, (laughs) no, you want to know what it felt like? It felt like being in hell. Uh, It felt like being, having something control me. mm, Yeah, okay. So that's what it was. As I said, the drugs, you know, like, like Rick James said, that, man. <laughs> cocaine's a hell of a drug. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> you know, I mean, okay. for real. Logic and Joe Budden have had issues in the past with the podcaster criticizing him for airing family issues in public just last year. No, He's fam. saying that his mom said the hard R and she got, you know, handled for it. <sighs> and you want me to think that this guy is okay with who he is and just his own skin and being himself. He sounds like an idiot. He sounds ridiculous. I used to think he was bullying him. I ain't gonna hold you. 
Yeah, people thought you were I thought bullying. Was funny, I, I definitely thought you was bullying him. I, I was like, was leave, leave, leave him alone, though. Well, leave, but yeah, but leave him alone. Like, yeah, he don't, bu- go bully somebody else. But, but I don't know, you guys nah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if this is what moms and did to him in the household coming up, I've been taking it like. I mean, you got some luck with you. I never man. called him the, the hard R. This I don't know what's up with Joe. Joe would do something to somebody you'd think Joe was wrong, and then out of nowhere, and they, they just fall into his trap. Are you some type of wizard, I my ain't nigga? trying to trap Logic. Like, logic, I hope you're all right, man. But you, you, come from, you come from some shit, yo. You come from some, you come from, <laughs> I can't say it. I want to say it. What, trailer shit? He's going to say white no, trash? I'm not, no, I'm not going <laughs> to say that, but I mean... <laughs> I mean... I hey, say it, but what's that about? <laughs> yo, that's that's that, weird, yo. Why are you snitching on moms? She got poked up, man, for saying that. Why are you snitching on your mom? Time code. <laughs> anyway. In turn, Logic called Button a hurt man for his repeated criticism of him. In a word or a sentence, Frank Sinatra. My... Childhood, my teenage years, my 20s, my inspiration. Wu-Tang Clan. Oh, man. Nine dads. Hey. Okay. Nas. The man who truly taught me lyricism. Jay-Z. The man who taught me business. Lauren Hill. One of a kind, incredible storytelling. The Roots. Rhythm. Rhythm. Pocket. Eminem. Not fitting in, and that's okay. Joe Budden. A hurt man, a very smart man, and a hater. (laughs) But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.